We are back 814 Consumer Confidential in the wake of the historic and very fast collapses of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature mm -hmm. Bank. A lot of people with money in other banks are wondering, is it safe? Yeah, NBC senior consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wins here with critical answers about protest protecting your nest egg. Hey, Vic, good morning. Good morning. I think morning. a lot of people wonder, like, is this just the beginning? I have my money in my bank. Yeah. Should I immediately go get it? Should I bring it home? Should I hide it? What say you? It's so normal to have yeah. jitters because we're seeing all these big banks that had literally billions of dollars fail, and you wonder, how the heck did that happen? Yeah. But we talk to financial planners. We talk to money experts. They say this is not the time to pull your money out of the bank, and here's why. The average American family has about $41,600 in savings. And that's according to the Federal wow. Reserve. Well, we have this program, the FDIC, which ensures up to $250,000 of your money, so your money per individual, yeah. per bank. If you're a couple with a joint account, that's $500,000. Yeah. And here's another little piece of food for thought. This program started back in 1934, insuring your money. Since then, no depositor has ever lost any of their insured funds when a bank went under. So that's a pretty good track it's record. A big deal. Your money is safe, and not only that, everyone trying to pull out their money is what causes the Yes. problems. It's actually exactly. not reality. It's yes. panic. It's people worried and panicking yeah. and then they worry about that spreading. So just remember that your mutual funds, your stocks, mm -hmm. your bonds and crypto are not insured. Okay, got it. All right. We have a viewer question for you, Vic. Let's take a listen. Hi, my name is Jeremy from New York City. And my question is, as someone with a signature bank business account, will I be able to continue using my account as normal to make payments and receive payments or will I have to make alternative arrangements? Thank you. Yeah. Jeremy, great question, and I have great news for you. Because of the emergency backstop by the federal government, you have full access to your money that goes for Silicon Valley Bank customers as well. And the concern here is what, what about in the future? What mm -hmm. happens next? The government, within the last 48 hours, developed a bank term funding program. What that basically means is they're making funds available to loan to banks over the next year to make sure they can service their customers. Mm -hmm. They have enough cash flow and liquidity so that they're not panicking and people aren't making a run on the bank. The idea is to calm the waters mm -hmm. and make sure everybody knows we've got your back. Everything's okay. So um, a lot of people were choosing these internet banks because yes. they were getting a good interest rate yeah. on their savings account. I mean, are these internet banks, what are the, some of the names, and I mean, not calling anyone out, but like, what does that mean, internet banks, and are they safe? Yeah, I feel like it, I've gotten these requests through yeah. American Express, mm -hmm. through a PayPal. They're partnering up with these internet banks, completely legitimate. The idea is they can give you a better interest rate on your savings account, three, four percent, because they don't have all the overhead of yeah. a brick and mortar mm -hmm. bank. You want to do the same due diligence you would with a regular bank, which is make sure that bank online is FDIC insured. Mm -hmm. There are two ways to do it. You can go online and call that FDIC number 877-275-3342. Or quickly, you can go on FDIC.gov slash bank find. This works for regular oh. traditional banks and internet banks. You enter in the name of the bank in that little search bar. There it is. Just make sure you enter the exact name of the bank. A lot of banks have similar names, so you it'll tell you right there. Is that bank closed? Is it open? Is it FDIC insured? Mm -hmm. Just make sure the name of the bank is exact and correct. And check with the FDIC, not with the bank. I mean, you got to yeah. like double check well, and make sure. And you can yeah. look on your statements too and yeah. they'll say if they're FDIC insured. But yeah. if you're considering a new bank, that's how you do it. So just real quickly, I mean, most people have less than that 250000 so they're protected. But some small businesses sure, put right. all their money. It could be over 250000 for a small business to run. Exactly. What should you do to protect yourself there? Yeah. The key here is to diversify. And whether you're a small business or an individual, spread your money out among different banks. Sometimes with small businesses, they want to do all of their business through one bank. That's okay. Ask that bank, are you a part of a network of other FDIC insured mm. banks? Can I get more coverage than just the basic mm. 250? And sometimes you can. So right. ask. Good. Vicki, thank, thank you very you, much. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.